What's going on guys, it's Fox and in today's video tutorial we're going to be converting Sega Saturn games from .iso to .binnq. I have the software for you, just go in my video description and get the link and you'll be all set ready to go. Okay, so first things first, let's jump onto the computer. Go ahead and download my pack, just extract it, then you'll open up this folder. So go ahead and open up this. Make sure you're disconnected from the internet. So what you want to do is just go over here and you want to put it in uh, airplane mode. So just go ahead and put it in airplane mode. And you're good, that will disconnect you from the internet. Open up this folder. Then you want to open up this folder. And you want to install the 64-bit if you're on a 64-bit operating system. So right click, run as administrator. If you already have this on your PC already, there's no need to do this. I'm just showing you how to do this just in case you don't know how to do this. Okay, after the application's open, you're gonna be prompted with this window here. So what you wanna do is you wanna open up this folder, open this up, and we're gonna copy and paste this information <clears throat> into the uh, application. So copy this. Then copy this. And as you can see, everything's all set ready to go with the application. There you go. Now you just press file, exit the application. Okay, now let's jump onto converting the .iso to bin and queue. Okay, let's get started with the conversion process. Before we get started, we want to take our computer out of airplane mode. So just turn, like now you have internet now. Okay, so wherever your .iso file is located, now we're gonna open up uh, the program to use. So you wanna right click your, your game here. Then you wanna go over here. And what we're going to do is click open with. Also very important, uh, your file structure might look different than my file structure. Don't worry about that. Also never update this application at all. No ifs, ands, or buts. Never update this application. Otherwise it will break and it will not work. Okay, so now we jump into tools and we're going to convert it. So go to tools, then you want to press convert file format. After you press convert file format, you want to go over here and you want to select bin and Q. So it would be CDR win image uh, dot bin dot Q. Then you want to press OK. So we're going to press OK. If you get any errors, don't worry about it. Sometimes this happens, but everything will work just perfectly. Okay, now we can close the application. And as you can see, we have a .bin and we have a .q file. Okay, what we want to do is we want to we want to name it the exact same name. So just right click, press rename, press copy, right click, new folder. We're going to paste and we're gonna just press, we're gonna put both these files into that folder. So just press the control key on your keyboard, drag and drop. Okay, now what you wanna do is click this once, we're gonna right click it, copy it, and then we're gonna put it on the uh, micro card. I'll show you how to do that. Let's go ahead and open up the micro card. Saru, ISO, right click, paste, Okay, take the SD card out of the computer and let's jump into onto the Sega Saturn. Okay, please understand mileage may vary. There's no really compatibility list of what games are working and what games aren't working. If you're playing any games and you ever run into any crashes, just go ahead and restart the console. Sometimes it's able to fix the program. This is kind of like, you know, the program for the server doesn't get updated quite frequently usually takes a while or whatever so like I said mileage will vary 
So go ahead and press the select game. And as you can see, we have the virtual tennis. So just press A on there and the game will load. Anyway, guys, like and subscribe to the Fox Den. I hope this helps you out with converting .iso to .bin and Q. Most of the time, wherever you get your games from, they're in um, bin and Q format already. That's kind of like the preferred method. Using the .iso, people really don't use that format anymore, but I'm sure, you know, if you ever wanted to learn how to do that, that you have the information now. Like I said before, just a quick little recap. When you use that program that I provided, don't update it at all. Otherwise, it will break. If you accidentally update and then it breaks, you have to uninstall the program, reinstall it, just follow my video guide again. Anyway, guys, like and subscribe to Fox, and I hope this helps you out. Have an awesome day.